Hey guys, LikeAbeast26 coming at you with another tutorial, this time on how to make games run on bad computers like a 5 year old laptop or something like that, that can't really play games very well on. Where do I begin? I guess, FPS configs. These could even double your frame rate. Um, it varies by game, but you'd have to download a file and it'll have all the um, little config things for the game. Then you have to locate, again varying by game, where all the files are saved, drag it in there, and that'll give you a huge FPS boost. Also, if it's on Steam or any other kind of thing, again, depending on game, you might have to uh, change the launch options. As you can see, I'm changing the launch options here. You might have to uh, do like slash exe, whatever. Another thing you can do is just keep your computer running fast in general. Get a good antivirus program. I have a shared one with my family. It's pretty good. Got some uh, scanning I do monthly. Just routine stuff. Scan for viruses, mi malwares, anything like that. Um, also, make sure you have a lot of hard drive space because the more hard drive space you have, the more efficiently your hard drive will perform, especially when reading things off the hard drive. Also, Periodically, you're going to want to defrag your hard drive. Uh, I'm not going to explain that, but do it. Um, a free program you can download off the internet is called PC to Crapifier. I'm going to open that up. And basically, just click on through. And it'll give you a suggested list of programs to uninstall from your computer. Just to make your computer run faster, free up some space. You might find some viruses in there or something. Just You can just get rid of them. It's a, it's a pretty awesome program. You see, I find some things here, I'm like, I don't even use MSN or whatever, I'm just going to erase it. It's taking up space that's not even used, so, um, let's scroll. Yep, and I'll just erase it. Also, you're going to want to open up Task Manager. Um, again, this is all before you even get into the game. So you're going to open up Task Manager. Uh... You don't want to have any other windows open, that's just taking up your RAM. And if you have a bad computer, you don't have much RAM. So you see here, I'm opening up a bunch of programs. And I don't even know why I did this, but uh, I'm demonstrating me closing them. But yeah, and then I'm going to pretend that this is a game, and you uh, just right-click, set priority, high. Another free program you can use is Game Booster. It can, uh, I, haven't, I have no experience with it, but... Uh, heard it's pretty good. All you gotta do is switch your computer to gaming mode and it'll kill all this like unneeded processes in the background and uh, allow your computer to be like gaming efficient. And then this is the part that nobody likes but you have to do it is uh, you have to lower the resolution and graphic settings and yeah no one likes to do this but if you're really desperate to have a game run like so you paid $60 for it and you kind of stuck with it. This is what you have to do. It varies by game to game, of course. This is Minecraft. There's no resolution, but there's still the settings. Just crank it down to the lowest, just to get a somewhat playable frame rate. You're gonna want to go for a frame rate at least of 60 frames per second, give or take, depending on the game. Or just find something that's comfortable for you. If you're one of those fast gamers, you're gonna want more. And uh. Sometimes 480 won't be available, sometimes it's 600, whatever. And, yeah. That's about it, guys. Uh, that's all I have to show you. I hope it hope it works out for you. And if this helped at all, uh, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe or something. But yeah, see you guys later.